Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Life UGPG. So today we are going to talk about radius ratio rule. So this will be highly beneficial for BSc Chemistry students under CBCS syllabus. So I have a simple message for you guys. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So this is the syllabus for core 1 paper, unit 3, chemical bonding. So let's talk about radius ratio rule and its limitation. So what is radius ratio rule? So the radius ratio RR is defined as the ratio of a radius of cation RC plus to that of radius of anion RA minus in an ionic crystal C plus A minus. So RR equal to RC plus divided by RA minus. So if RC plus is higher, so there will be higher value of RR Then application. So by help of radius ratio, it is possible to predict the cation anion coordination number in any ionic crystal. So the radius ratio can be used to predict the shape of shape that is the arrangement of different ions of an ionic crystal. So usually there are some assumptions for radius ratio calculation. So first is the accurate ionic radii should be known. The ions behave as hard inelastic spheres. And the stable arrangement are only possible if the positive and negative ions are they touch each other. The ions are spherical in shape. And the ions always adopts the highest possible coordination number. And the bonding is 100% ionic. So these are the assumptions for calculating the radius ratio. So here is the table. It shows the relationship between radius ratio and coordination number and its geometry of the crystal. So radius ratio value 0 to 0 0.155. So coordination number is 2 and geometry will be linear. If the value is in between 0 0.155, hyphen 0.225 so coordination number will be 3 and the structure will be trigonal planar if the value is 0 0.2252 to 0 0.414 then coordination number is 4 and geometry will be tetrahedral if the value is 0 0.414 to 0 0.732 again the coordination number is 4 and it is square planar similarly the value is 0 0.414 to 0 0.732 so here it is 6 so here is a mistake 0 0.732 so it should be 6 and the structure would be octahedra 0 0.732 to 1 then coordination number 8 and this is called a, a BCC crystal and if it is 1 then coordination number 12 so that will be CCP or HCP crystal so with a high RC plus the coordination of which will give the most stable structure to any pair of a cation and anion is dependent upon the radius ratio RC plus to RA minus value. So radius of cation to radius of anion value. So let's calculate the radius ratio for coordination number crystal whose structure should be tri triangular planar. So here this is the cation and the, it is in touch with three anions. So the small positive radius of R plus ion in contact with three, three larger negative ions. So having radius R minus. So these three are anions, big circles. And at the center we have a small circle. So that is the a cation. So plainly if we connect the centers we can get uh, this ABC. So plainly AB equal to BC equal to CA that will be equal to 2R minus and BE will be equal to BE. So this will be the radius of anion so R minus and BD will be BD will be equal to R minus plus R plus. So the angle ABC is here 60 degree and the angle DB equal to 30 degree. So if we take the cos 30 so that is equal to 
or you can take cos theta so that is here theta is 30 degree so b by b d so that is equal to r minus by r plus plus r minus so cos 30 value is 0 0.866 equal to r minus by r plus plus r minus so now if you take the reverse so r plus plus r minus will be equal to 1.155 into r minus so if you find out so r plus by r minus r plus divided by r minus equal to it should be 0 0.155 so or you can say r plus equal to 0 0.155 times r minus so if the radius ratio can be found from the r plus and r minus that is ionic radii the coordination number and shape may be predicted so similarly you can find out for coordination number 4 coordination number 6 etc so this simple concept predicts the correct structure in many cases so now let's talk about what are its limitation so the radius ratio rule can only be used to estimate the cations coordination number not for the anion and this rule can only be applied on the crystal type in which the cation and anion is present in their formula. So please subscribe to our channel Chemistry Live UGPG. This is also available in the website chemistrylive.ugpg.com. So for class 11th and 12th, this is the channel Foundation Chemistry AV. So this is a simple step towards e-learning making life better. Thank you all for learning.